Hi, this is Derek. I'm, I'm in the market where I buy um, chicken livers and bones for the four dogs that I'm uh, house sitting for. Anyway, I just wanted to show you something that I noticed. This is the market. It's basically a, um, uh, a meat, fish, poultry. This is one of the guys that I buy meat from right here, bones. This, uh, my friend here owns this one, this guy right here. But here's what I wanted to show you. So when we go a little bit over here, we see it's not a large market, but you take a look here. A lot of chickens. And look at all of these women in a lineup right here. And uh, so you gotta ask yourself, why is that? Well, this lady that you see right here, putting her arms up with getting the bag, she owns it, and these are her sisters. And uh, she's owned it for a couple of years, but of all the places in here, she seems, other than the fruits and the vegetables, she's the only owner of a meat place, fish place, right? And she works it herself. So, of course, in this uh, new economy, the way things are changing, um, what have we learned? Well, we've learned that women prefer to buy from women. I mean, that's obvious. Uh, there's no way that a woman, if she was a butcher or selling fish or whatever it is, uh, uh, well, there's no way a man could compete with her. And so, I mean, here is basically absolute proof. Right? She goes full bore from morning to late afternoon. See? Full bore. Non-stop. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you this little this little piece of uh, information here, how everything is changing. My recommendation to my friend down here is to either have his daughters or his wife or somebody else come here because even though he has a great business and he's had this business for 30 years, right? Um, He'd be doing a lot more, a lot better, if he had uh, women behind it, because there are no women butchers in here. There are some with their husbands, yes, but uh, anyway, that's just my take on it. Thank you very much for your time.